For more on the clashes at the Kotel or the Western Wall, don't forget to check out ILTV's Insider, which airs tonight. Now, our next guest has been gathering a considerable following with his videos that track his many adventures abroad. But Israel has loads and loads to offer as well. And so here with some suggestions, Ohad the Nomad. Ohad, thank yeah, you so much. hello. I'm so happy to have thank you here. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's, yeah, it's my pleasure. I love inviting. your videos. Uh, I love uh, the energy yeah. you bring to all, all the different trips that you take. Uh, and you have traveled pretty extensively across the world. Tell us a little bit about you know, what you've seen and experienced along the journey. So in the past five years after the service in the Navy, I'm um, basically only traveling for a living. I uh, started as a one-year trip across the world and just through Asia and uh, Oceanic and many places. And uh, after the one year, I just wanted to keep on doing that. So hmm. I opened a blog, a YouTube channel, a Facebook channel, a TikTok, Instagram, or everything. And that's what I do for a living since then. It's you're living the dream. So where, where do you nah. hope, where do you hope reality, to go back to? Living the reality. Living the reality. Well, you know, where, where have you been to that you maybe hope to get back to as soon as possible? Where, where, you know? Wow, I think the most beautiful place I've ever been to was Antarctica. Yeah, the South really? Pole. Um, and in the next September, I'm coming back to Lapland, to Sweden, to see the Northern wow. Lights, which are amazing. I cannot believe the beauty yeah. in the eyes. Yeah, now you can see the gorilla in Congo, which is also a place uh, hmm. you really want to be, to be again. Well, I agree with you with, about the Northern Lights. I saw those uh, in Canada when I was a kid. But now let's get back to Israel, because I understand you have some recommendations that are off of the beaten path, so to speak, as in outside Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Exactly, exactly. Tel Aviv and Jerusalem are amazing. But I tell you this, that since... COVID came and uh, brought me back to Israel. I fell in love with our beautiful country. Uh, I cannot believe how many places uh, there are to visit in Israel besides yeah. Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, which are perfectly amazing. And I think I want to tell you about Eilat. Right. Do you know the city? I do. Yeah, so yeah. most people go to visit the hotels and they go to visit the luxury stuff sure. that the city has to yeah. offer. But now I want to show you some uh, uh, events or uh, hiking in Eilat that are totally free, that um, oh, wow. you can visit with the nature. First of all, the Red Canyon. Have you heard about it? I've heard of it. I haven't gone, you know, walking around it, though. Very easy hiking area. Only okay. three kilometers, not uh, incline That's or decline, too, uh, too many. Too, yeah, not too bad. And the beauty of this place will shock you wow. up. And uh, so many places to do some hiking in the Red Canyon. Only 20 minutes from the city of Eilat, city center. It's totally amazing. The second of all, which is totally free, Kulinaric uh, Street uh, Two. You can go and make it free. Uh, food too in Eilat, right. in uh, quite uh, not the most famous places or restaurants that usually people go and eat. You can see it right now, and everything is totally free. What? Indian food and pizzerias, and I also visit a place that what are, makes beer. That, well, uh, what, are, what are what are some of your yeah. favorite? What are your some of your favorites uh, at this culinary tour? I love Indian food. I think it's the best dish in the world for me, Indian food. I like the spicy and they are really uh, Jewish Indian people that come to Israel and open a restaurant and it's beautiful and authentic and amazing. Uh, yeah, you I was just going to ask about the authenticity. The Does it compare nicely to the real thing? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> of course, it fits the Israeli tongue, you know, we say in Hebrew. Right. Maybe less I see that it is uh, in India, but it's amazing. The, the, the flavors are simply good, and the patisseries and the beer are also very unique. You don't uh, expect to eat yeah. so much in Eilat and for free. Yeah, uh, the that's third amazing. place I totally recommend. Do we have time? Yeah, hit us. Yeah, yeah. So I recommend about a bedding park, which is a bed site, bed sightseeing park. Okay. Uh, actually, Israel and Eilat specifically is a place that the birds, very unique birds, go from Africa to sure. Asia when they, uh, 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 like me, nomad, <laughs> when they go from place to place with the seasons of the year. And there you can go and uh, watch birds 
uh, you can see now uh, also very unique birds that uh, can be observed in the uh, Eilat. Also, this park is free, totally sure. free uh, of charge. Well, you well. don't need to pay money. If you want to take a tour and uh, right. learn some more with right. expertise some from all over the world, yeah. this place, so you pay, but it's very uh, symbolic. All right, what price. else? What else, mm. what else we have? I'm a scuba diver. I told you I served in the Navy and I was a combat scuba diver, but I usually do scuba and I didn't do free diving, never. And uh, really? last month was the first time I tried free diving without scuba, without the tank with uh, oxygen and air. Um, doing free diving in a light is super amazing because, you know, most places in the world you need to go and take a boat and make it uh, like a whole day thing. And here, because of uh, the big line in the water is very steep, you can just take a deep breath and go down. Wow. And I really recommend you to take a course about it because uh, there is some techniques you need to know before you do so. Yes. And so it won't be dangerous as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Ohad, it was so su such a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, and thank you so much for some of these insights. I, I have some weekend plans to make. Thank you so much. You are more than welcome to follow my page. And uh, if you have any questions, so I will surely answer. Absolutely. Thank you again. Hi, everyone. It's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.